Hey crafty friends, it's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, I have a collective haul, uh, things that came in while I was on my little vacay. So, um, I thought I would share this stuff with you guys so that I can dive right in and start using it. So, let's get started. Just dive right in here. Okay. <clears throat> Um, I picked up during Frank's Labor Day sale, I think you saved 20% or something like that. Um, I did pick up a few things. One of the things that I picked up that I had been wanting was the Paper Tray Ink Spooky Halloween. This is the stamps. I also picked up the coordinating dies that go with it. Sorry, show you guys what the stamps look like. I just thought they'd make some really cute accents with embellishments and stuff and on some cards and whatnot. And then I picked up the new Paige Evans collection. This is her um, Christmas collection this year. I picked up two of these um, 6 by 8 pads. And then I just picked up some individual sheets of the ones that I really, really liked. This is the Sugar Plum Wishes. And I really like the colors in it. They're nice and bright. So I'll flip through this really quick for you guys. These are single-sided papers, by the way. They are not double-sided. So that's kind of cool in one way. In the other way, it's, you know, if you do a project where you see both sides, then you're not, you have to line it or something. But these are super, super cute patterns and colors and, um, sorry, polka dots. Oh, I, of course, you know me. I love that page, right? Gingies. And the houses are adorable. The pinks. I love all the pinks and the blues and the light greens. It's just got a lot of bright colors in it. I think the Christmas tree one is one of my favorites as well as this one because it's just got so many bright colors in it. Love, love, love. Can't wait to play with these. So you get, oh, there's that one too I was going to show you guys. The, um, I love that one. The candy canes. Or the, the, the Christmas candy, I guess you'd call it. Um, you get 36 sheets. So I picked up two of those. So I'd have plenty to make things with. I picked up the tassels with the charms. I just thought they were really cute. Of course, I could make my own. But these go perfectly with, with the collection. And they were so cute. And 20% off. And then I picked up, so like I said, some of the individual sheets of things that I knew that I would really, really like and use. And so I picked up four of these, which are the Christmas trees. And then on the other side, it's striped. So the 12 by 12 paper is double-sided, but the 6 by 8 is not. Then, of course, I picked up some of the gingerbread. Picked up four of those as well. Super cute. Love, love, love. You could cut those out individually. Um, use them for treat boxes, treat bags, whatever you want to do. Picked up this sheet because, again, like I said, I just absolutely adore all the colors in here. It's just so bright and festive. Look at all those colors, you guys. So cute. Love it. Of course, I picked up the candy canes. Or, sorry, the Christmas candy. Love, love, love. Oh, I didn't show you the other side of that one. So that one's a stripe. And then the other side of this one is a bright green. And the other side of the gingerbread is a polka dot. So, sorry, I didn't show you guys both sides. And then I picked up this bright one. Um, I love that it looks like a sweater. I think it's really, really cute. And it's nice and bright pink. And then on the other side, you've got a really pretty green and blue plaid. Very nice. I picked up um, a couple sheets of the tags so that I could make a couple of tag flips. I think these are absolutely adorable. And look, that's got that really pretty um, floral on the other side with the poinsettias. So cute. I just love all these tags. Can't wait to use those. And then I picked up the, um, the foam stickers as well. So that I would have those for embellishments and whatnot. Everything else, I'll probably just die cut stuff that will coordinate with the collection. And I think that will turn out really cute. So that is what I picked up from Frank's. Um, I do have another order, I believe, coming from Frank's. Well, it hasn't shipped yet, but I did pre-order the new Doodlebug Christmas collection. And I cannot wait to get it, you guys. Oh, it's going to be so cute to craft with. 
I need I need a crafty friend to hit me up because if you got that collection or if, you, if you're getting that collection, man, we might need to do a swap or something. Okay, let's just dive in here, and I'm going to start with Scrap Diva Designs. I absolutely love you guys know I love 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 Erica, and I love everything that she puts in her store. Um, so I picked up a lot of her new Halloween collection, and um, I've had it since I got back Monday, but I haven't had a chance to dive into it. And I was going to open it the other day and start um, organizing it so that I could use it. And I was like, no, I want to do a haul. So I wanted to show you guys. I did pick up the three different words, were the Halloween words one, two, and three. So on these, you get, um, and I know you guys have probably already seen them. Um, we've got fangs, vampire. Uh, I can't even read some of these backwards. <laughs> Broom, spider. Um, I don't know what that says. And then that one says cross. We've got Midnight, Howl, uh, Scream, Horror, Spells. Really cute. We've got a bunch of different ones. But you can go on her website and see what they are. Full Moon, Potion, um, Zombies, Dracula, Cursed, and then um, Shadows. So, love, love, love the words. Can't wait to use those. And this is probably going to be my favorite. This one really caught my eye when I was seeing all the design team members doing all their goodies and the fun stuff, the potion bottles. And I love that Erica puts multiple sizes in a lot of her dyes. So, it's cool. You get the small one um, and you get the larger one. So, you've got the piece that will make a shaker and then you've got the base piece. And then you've got all these extras, the little poison tags. And then you've got the little skull and crossbones there. And you've got your little, looks like the little corks that you use. Super duper cute. Cannot wait to use this one. I think it's going to make some really fun embellishments. I think this one is probably big enough that I could use that little circle tear off die and you could probably put like a do up some really cute shaker mixes and send them as gifts in those i think that would be super cute i also picked up the large bag topper die this was a skull um, bag topper die i love it i didn't pick up all of them i picked up the large one because i knew that this is the one that i would probably use the most so but who knows i may go back and order the other ones i also picked up the skull and crossbone um mini album set you can't go wrong with that i mean super super cute you could send this um in a swap put some little goodies in it you could do actually you can use these pieces by themselves you could make a really cute card you don't have to do an album but i love mini album dies so let's see there you go you see that cute little face of hers with the heart eyes and little eyelashes so cute and then i picked up the um, tall pumpkin die so you get so many layering pieces with this one really really cute i've seen a lot of cute ideas with this one can't wait to play with it i picked up the little skeleton uh, mini album die i think it's called a mini album die anyway it's just super super duper cute you get, look at all the different layers that you get and then this one piece cuts out all the little bones for you absolutely adorable love it i picked up the large jack-o-lantern die um super cute you get some goodies with it you get some leaves some small pumpkins a spider web and of course your jack-o-lantern and all these different layers and the cute little jackie face super cute love 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 and then of course i adore anything candy corn so i picked up the candy corn memory decks super cute so you get the memory decks piece the base piece you get layering pieces you get a sh um if you want to do a shaker shaker pieces you get the little um eyes if you want to make faces on it you get little mini candy corns You've got a spider another um candy piece and just different things to make as far as the face super super cute love this one again can't wait to play with it and then i picked up the candy corn i guess this is a mini album die um but the large candy corn die i love it i remember last year searching for a large candy corn die and i think i ended up buying one on ebay and paid way too much money for it but it's not nearly this big and so i was a little bit disappointed because i wanted some big ones and so this is absolutely perfect so i'm glad erica put this one in her shop you also get the words scary sweet and treat you get again some more candy corns and the little spiders i love this absolutely love again like i said 
Um, huge supporter of Erica. She has done all the things that we all, all of us crafters wish we could do. So love, love, love that she has gone and done everything. So cool. My next haul was a Jaded Blossom um, bundle. Oh, you know what? I missed this one. Sorry. <laughs> something was in the back this is the little ghost tags again this is one of the others i believe will probably be one of my favorites um you got the word treak eek boo trick candy and scary and everybody's been using this one and it's super cute so can't wait to use that one sorry okay now we can move into that jaded blossom so i picked up the bundle which was this last month's release which um is all halloween related um i know a lot of people don't like gnomes i love their gnomes and all the little add-ons that they have so i usually do pick up the bundles that is not part of it <laughs> okay so well i don't know what i did with the um oh there they are okay so this is the build a booth halloween add-on so if you have the booth um then every month when they do a release they have a new uh, thing to add to it so you get the skulls you get pumpkins and the candy corn and all of these little pieces here layer up or become part of the booth and so you get the words and everything that you can put on the booth candy corn haunted beware super super cute i love the booth dies absolutely love them then um this is the i can't even remember what it's called now I guess spooky season, yeah, spooky season stamp and die set. So this has got like all the Nomi, Nomi wants brains, Nomi's for eternity. Sorry to hear you're feeling rotten. That's cute. Broom parking, others will be towed. <laughs> spooky and I know it. How, happy Halloween, wishing you a spectacular Halloween. Creep it real, Nomi. Spooky season, hope your Halloween is crawling with fun. Bon appetit, Nomi. Trick or Treat and Hey Boo, super cute, and I got the dies that go with it. Well, I got the whole, I ordered the bundle, so, it, you know, you get it all. And then this is the gnome add-ons, and this is called the Graveyard Add-ons. It's super cute. You've got this little coffin here, and then you've got the little brains that you can add to the gnome, and he can hold this eyeball. It's so cute, or the spider web and all the spiders, and then there's a little tombstone. Adorable. Um, I seen so many cute ideas with this one you guys if you don't follow them on youtube um they always have the cutest um designers that make so much fun stuff so uh, and, and they get me every time so anyway i got the nomi graveyard add-ons and then i also got the nomi um spooky add-ons which is the um pumpkin and the little face and you get the candy corn hat for the gnome and then the little boo like um photo prop and then there's a little balloon that makes in uh it's a little ghosty balloon and then there's a little frog super cute can't wait to use all of those this one was adorable this made me throw back to last year um when i did um some projects for my creative time we had a candy corn and i turned my candy corn into a little frankie and so that's what this reminded me of and i thought it was adorable so this comes as a um stamp and die set so you get them these two together i don't believe you have to purchase them separately yeah it says <clears throat> corny halloween with outline die so super cute isn't aren't those cute can't wait just can't wait to use them so cute and then this is the candy corn for sale. Again, this is um, things that you can use. I mean, they're just sentiments, but you can use them on that Build-A-Booth. And I think that's awesome. So you've got all these things here. Haunted House, Enter at Your Own Risk, Trick or Treat, Candy Corn for Sale, Dead in Breakfast, Zombie Crossing, Trunk or Treat, Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat, Boo, Keep Out, um, Pick Your Poison, Broom Parking, Pumpkin Patch, Fresh, Farm Fresh, Open Daily. Super cute. And then I got these stencils as well. This is a three-piece stencil here, and so it creates a um, candy corn background. And this is a two-piece stencil, and it creates sort of a spooky background with the bats and the moon and the clouds and all of that fun stuff. So, don't know why there's two moons. That's crazy, but anyway, I guess you can use one or the other. So, that is what I got from Jaded Blossom. 
And then last but not least, I also picked this stuff up from Frank's, but um, I never hauled it. So I thought I would show you guys what I picked up. I picked up the new lawn cuts. This is the di um, Tada Diorama. And so it makes where you can pull both sides and it reveals what's inside. So I picked up this die as well as the little add-on. It was the um, uh, hillside inserts. So I picked those two up, super cute. Uh, they come with a lot of cute stuff and then they'll you know, perfectly coordinate with a lot of their different stamp sets, which I don't have a lot of their stamp sets, but you can use any stamp sets with these. I also picked up, oh, the little, um, the bat set. I think this is adorable, you guys. This bat set is interactive, so um, I picked up the dies as well. This is called Batty for You. But you can use this die with this one, which is your waving pull tab, and you can make the little bat flap his wings, and I think that's adorable. So I can't wait to do a project with that one. And the bat is a really good size. He's not teeny tiny, so... Um, and bats, you know, anything that's black or gray or any of that kind of stuff, ghosts, those kind of things, so super easy to color. So, and I love to color. It is very therapeutic to me. I picked up the tiny gift box ghost add-on. How cute. Look at this little ghost of you guys. He's so cute. But I see people using this for a multitude of different things, not just ghosts. So I thought that was cute and I picked that one up. Then I also picked the Build a Birdhouse um, die up. I love birdhouses, and I think this one's adorable. And I also picked up the add-on, which is the um, Christmas add-on. So you get the little lights, and then you get the little snow, little pine cones, pine. You know, it's just super cute. Love it. And then they threw in a freebie, which I thought was really cool. And this is the cute, cute, let's see, does it have a name on it? Yes, Beachy Christmas. So I thought that was cute. That's sweet. I love that. That is my little collective haul for you guys. I'm sure I have more that I haven't shown you. But um, when things come in, I'm real like bad. When things come in, I want to get them put away, like right away. So to have them sitting on my desk kind of drives me crazy. And then I end up not doing the videos. And so I'll try to do more videos for you guys. But um, that's just enabling you, right? <laughs> not that I mean to do that. I just want to show you guys all the cuteness that's out there and the things that I picked up and you know just to let you know if there is a good deal so um Frank's uh, Frank's owns me love Frank's and then of course Scrap Diva my favorite favorite favorites and then um J.D. Blossom and Lawn Lawn you guys you can't go wrong with any of those so thought I would share that with you guys and until the next crafty video you guys happy crafting